right now because a really man who is anointed, a really anointed man and woman of God can turn upside the city. You can change that society. You can change that community. Every time God gets ready to do his work, he uses a man. Praise the name of the living God. He created one man. He used one man to deliver the Israelites, Moses. He used Solomon to build the temple. One man. He used Samson to finish the Philistines. One man. He used Jonah to preach deliverance. One man. He used Jesus to save the whole world one man and now God is getting ready to use you to do what he want to do with your life so the Bible says Simon now the sorcerer he thinks he has taken over the city of Samaria and people are living in bondage families are dying every day children are dying the children are being bewitched out of school women are dying husbands are dying marriages are collapsing and he thinks he has taken over the city what he does not know was the seed of the gospel was planted in Samaria and God had raised a man for himself to come down and turn the entire city of Samaria upside down. I don't know who I'm talking to right now. You have been anointed for a reason and you carry a solution over the problem that have suffocated their lives and frustrated their life for all this too long. Tell your neighbor I'm going back. Stop running away from the witches. Stop running away from the problem. I cannot be anointed and keep running away from the devil. I'm getting ready to preach now. Pardon my voice, but I will preach. The anointing you have is not just to brag around. It's not just to say I'm born again. You have been anointed to solve a problem that is a generational. Uh, you are not here. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, don't play around with me. I am anointed. Tell your sister, my sister, this person is anointed. You got a solution not only to change your life, but to change the life of the entire city. I feel I will preach in this place. Anointed and being persecuted for a generation. I came here to tell you this. The persecution you think you are in is sending you back to the same thing you have been anointed for. Can I talk to someone right now? I am anointed, but I don't like what I'm dealing with because God want to take you back for the very thing you have been anointed for. Moses was anointed to deliver the Israelites and that's why he had to suffer in the wilderness. Solomon was anointed to build the temple and that's why he had to go through all he went through. Samson was anointed to deliver Israelites from the Philistines and that's why he had to go through what he was going through. I have a question for you before I preach. What do you think you have been anointed for? What do you think you have been saved for? What do you think you have been delivered for? What do you think you are in the ministry for? Praise the name of God. So the persecution sends Philip back to Samaria because the assignment of Philip is not in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, everything was comfortable. They were enjoying the presence of God and God says, this is not what I anointed you for. There are people in this place and those who are watching me online, God is about to make your life uncomfortable because you are anointed and yet still blind. <laughs> still confused why you are anointed I say God is about to make your life uncomfortable I will preach now I will preach now you became so comfortable because now you can have chapati you have become so comfortable because you have everything you need but persecution is coming I say the shake up is coming the anointing you have 
carries an assignment and God brings the shake up that sends Philip back to Samaria. I came here to tell you a shake up is coming that will send you to the place of the assignment. Some of you don't know even how you gave your life to Christ. It was through the shake up so that what you have been anointed for I'm about to preach. You are anointed before the foundations of the earth. You are not anointed when a man of God lays hands on you. You are anointed before the foundations of the earth. So God has a tendency of bringing someone into a comfort place. And if you overstay in the comfort place without understanding why he has anointed you, he allows the shake up. 